Libra. This is Jackie Tomlin, uh, extended version of your reading, looking at from September 1st through September 15th. Thank you guys for stopping by. If you're enjoying the videos, please take the time to like, share, subscribe, and retweet. If you're seeking a psychic reading, contact me at JackieTomlin.com or find a link to those readings below this video and join me this Thursday night live at 7 p.m. Okay, Libra, 1st to the 15th. First thing I see is that you've got an offer of assistance coming in. This is more towards, I'm going to say from the 8th to the 15th in that era. It is someone that you already know, someone that you would not expect to offer to assist you in any way. Um, next to that, it shows a small wish is being granted. More than one, actually time to count your blessings but you're also changing your plans and you're changing things up and what i mean by you're changing things up is you are actually separating from someone or a situation okay this is something you've outgrown this is something you've deemed not worth your energy or not worth your time because i do see you separating yourself from it uh you're under a high energy time so you might struggle for that need for balance a lot going on in your personal life a lot going on in work and career your drive for success is high and there's some new money coming in, but in the personal life, things feel a little unsettled. And I say that because I see a lot of emotions there, okay? Uh, good business deal about to be presented more towards the 15th. It's where I see you counting your blessings, things are falling into place or that you're actually getting things under control. And for some of you, I'm seeing some kind of type of travel, short trip, Nothing like out of state or anything like that. Just some kind of short trip coming up. So we're going to take a look. We're looking at Libra from September 1st to September 15th. Okay, Libra. We start with the Queen of Pentacles. Followed by the High Priestess. The Five of Wands, the Four of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Ace of Swords. So I'm going to break this down and we'll pull you three more. Uh, also stick around. I have the Romance Angels here as well. What we have here is the Queen of Pentacles. And what we're looking at with the Queen of Pentacles, this is working and gaining. Um, this may be where I said there's some new money coming in and small wishes granted as well. But with that, we have the High Priestess. And the High Priestess shows um, things are not going to move as quickly as what you want to see them. I see things going in your favor. They're just not moving as quickly as what you want to see them go. Five of Wands, okay? Shows you still have some obstacles to get through. Everything is not perfect. Like I said, I see things getting under control, falling into place for you. But it's more towards the 15th of the month than it is the first part of the month. Moving forward, it does show the Four of Pentacles, which shows wise financial decisions, uh, applying the money where it needs to be applied, and then you come up with that Eight of Pentacles. Now, that is your new money. This is the money that is in addition to. This is in addition to your paycheck or your normal income. This could be the sale of an item. This could also be loans coming through, uh, but this is something in addition to. Ace of Swords, placing you under a new beginning, and that new beginning is now. So as you close out the old and the new comes in, it could be a little bit emotional. And like I said, it does show me closure that you're ending something or separating from someone or something or a situation. Moving forward, you have the Eight of Wands. You have the major kind of the hair front. And you have the Page of Swords. Okay. Eight of Wands, total success, victory, and total and complete happiness. Things going your way. The Hierophant, seeing this in a couple of the signs, this is your card of manifestation. Uh, now, remember to keep your thoughts positive, which is pretty much what I've seen throughout your reading, because um, you can manifest the negative just as well as you can the positive. And the Page of Swords coming in almost like the Fool card, okay? And what this is indicating, things are going well. The money's coming in. Things are turning around to your favor. Things are going well, but there is that warning of foolish decisions. Okay, so slow down. Think things through. This is also indicating that towards the 15th of the month, you don't want to make any quick decisions. Slow down and think things through. 
All right, so moving forward, we're going to take a look at the Romance Angels, and this is for the single Libras as well as the ones that are couples. Just taking a look to see from the time frame of September 1st through the 15th of what you need to know. Okay, Libra, what we have here is codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Now, that could be taking in many different ways, whether it's a codependency as well as a chemical or if you are actually codependent on a person. Okay. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to step by Thursday night at 7 p.m. And I will see you guys soon. Bye. Hi everyone, this is Jackie Tomlin reminding you to download the Daily Horoscope app by Cheetah Mobile. Take a look and look for that purple and yellow icon there. It is an app with your daily horoscopes, so much more, lots of articles, lots of information. You'll also find my videos there as well. And if you're seeking a psychic reading, contact me at JackieTomlin.com and have a wonderful day. Bye.